talk good talk about money. Turn your mouth around about money. Ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Say that with me. Turn your mouth around about money. You see, in, instead of talking money away from you, talk money to you. Stand up right now and let's do some of this talking money to us. You see, if you want to turn your life around, turn your mouth around. If you want to turn your experience of life around, turn your mouth around. There's a verse of scripture which says, Thou art ensnared by the words of thy mouth. Be careful what you say. One of the greatest prayers ever written in the Bible says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth and keep the door of my lips. Another great prayer from the Bible says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Be careful what you say. My word that goes forth out of my mouth shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Your word is always becoming flesh. If you talk the lack of money, you'll get more of the lack of money. If you talk the abundance of money, you'll get more of the abundance of money. If you talk the joy of money, you'll get more of the joy of money. Are you ready now to talk good money talk? If you are, say, I'm ready to talk good money talk. I'm ready to talk good money talk. Woo! All right, here we go. The affirmation under Reverend Ike's second commandment of money. All right, I'm going to say it first, and I'm going to have you say it like I say it. Now, I am an incorrigible preacher, so before the end is over, I'm going to be jumping up and down and running up and down these aisles, so don't get too excited. <laughs> it reminds me of, of, the, of the good old Southern Baptist joke. Uh, the preacher was preaching about the second coming of the Lord. And uh, every once in a while, he would yell in his sermon, The Lord says I'm coming! And about the third time he yelled that, he fell off of the platform right into the lap of the little old lady sitting on the front seat. And he got up and dusted himself off and said, Oh, mother, I'm so sorry that I fell off into your lap. She said, That's all right, son. You warned me three times that you were coming. <laughs> so I've warned you that the preacher is going to be coming out here. Are you ready? All right, now listen to the way I say it and you preach it back to me. What we're going to do right now is preach back and forth to each other. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on, do like this. Get ready. Come on. All right, now you wait until I finish and then you start it. Money is wonderful stuff. Isn't that good preaching? Yeah. Now I want you to know money hears that. And I want you to know money has turned around and is running toward you. 